All right, Chairman Gardner. Okay. Um, I would like to welcome everyone to the May 2022 meeting uh, of the Audit Committee. Um, and with that, uh, I will uh, ask Sarah, do we need a roll call or, or do we have yep. that from the prior meeting? Why don't I read it so we have a, a everyone knows who's on. I know that there's some new faces on here this time. So I'll read through it quickly. Um, for our audit committee um, and board members, we have John Gardner, our board chair, Al Carney, John Johnson, Joan Sullivan, Beryl Snyder, uh, and Janice McKinney. Joining us from DASNY staff, we have Ruben McDaniel, uh, Kim Ellis, Ricardo Salomon, Deb Fasser, myself, Sarah Richards, uh, Jeffrey Gordon, Dina Amodio, Kathy Ebert, uh, and Ken Evans is also on the on, on the Zoom. I apologize, Ken, I left you off the list of boards. Uh, Paul Koopman, Amanda Nazario, uh, Nick Palis, uh, Jen, Jenna Flinton, uh, Karen Ellinger, uh, Nadine Fontaine, um, and then also for other board members are Beryl Snyder and Jerry Romsky. And that should do it, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, uh, first order of business is to review the minutes from the October uh, 21, uh, is that the last meeting, 2021 uh, audit committee meeting? I think it is. Um, they were uh, right. behind tab five in your package. Um, I've had a look at them. Uh, does anyone uh, have any comments on those minutes? <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not hearing any comments. Uh, can I have a motion to approve the minutes? I'm, I make the motion. It's Joan. Thank you, Joan. Second. Where's Beryl? I'll second this, Beryl. Thank, thank you, Beryl. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, do I hear anyone uh, um, uh, uh, disagreeing, not approving? Uh, hearing none, the minutes are approved. Um, Okay, now I have uh, a nice uh, agenda that was given to me uh, by Kathy, uh, as Kathy always does. Um, she's put the things that I'm supposed to say in bright red and that uses large print uh, so that I won't screw this up. But I I'm gonna go off the agenda, Kathy, if you don't mind, uh, because this is her last meeting uh, of the audit committee. And I wanna get this uh, in the record uh, Sarah, um, hopefully you'll you'll help me smooth this out. Um, uh, I'm I'm um, uh, uh, I, I'm 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 flabbergasted. Um, uh, the reality of not working with Kathy in this position has finally set in. Um, there is no announcement about her successor. Um, I plain and simple, it's been an absolute. Uh, joy and a privilege to work with Kathy. I think that when we came in, uh, we both were new. Um, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think Kathy was promoted into the position. Uh, and um, Al just, you know, threw up a bomb and put me in the position. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and um, um, uh it, it uh, I think it worked pretty well. Um, has it been five years? Am I, Kathy, five years? Something More or less? That, yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Something like that. It, may, like be that. <laughs> like that. Um, it uh, may be more, John. It may be I more. I think it was more, yes. Yeah, it may be more. Um, uh, uh, I'll I, I just say a couple of things. To, to, to say that Kathy knows her stuff mm. uh, is an understatement. At, at this point especially, but for most of those five or six years, um, her knowledge of DASNY uh, has been absolutely encyclopedic. Uh, and I mean, it, it comes with the territory. If, if you're internally auditing everything in the organization, you really get to know this organization and she really knows this organization. And not only does she know it, but she can pull facts and I mean, she can pull anything up. Uh, her memory is, is, is sharp uh, and mine is not. Uh, and um, uh, 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 it's, it's, it's been a, um, uh, an extremely, I mean, we, we can have very productive conversations in a very short period of time uh, because she just knows her stuff. 
Um, she is a combination, and I've, I've been sort of thinking about this, I hope it makes sense, uh, of grace and metal. Uh, the grace is obvious, the metal may not be, but, but trust me, the, the metal is there. She is truly an internal audit director. Uh, she does things uh, seemingly effortlessly that require a great deal of effort. And uh, she has from the beginning uh, uh, been one of those you know, just outstanding uh, people at DASNY. We've, we've got a bunch of them, um, but, but she represents the top of, of what she does. Uh, and I wish her all the luck in the world. Uh, this next place is getting a better person than they even know. Uh, but um, um, uh, yeah, yeah. we yeah, will yeah. miss her. We will miss her. <laughs> I will miss her. <laughs> Thank you. That is beyond flattering. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And I want to add that I thought you have taken a department that was smaller, less skilled, and less efficient, and made it into really the a world class audit department for DASNY. And you should be very proud of yourself. And we will miss you. So thank you. Thank you, Beryl. Thank you. I will miss all of you too. John, John, it has been a pleasure. May I add some a few words to yours? Please. And, is that okay? Yeah. Oh, please, Al. I'm, please. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've watched this department grow precisely as it should have grown with its leader being careful to make it clear that her, uh, her goal was not necessarily to be embraced by management, mm. but to make the point that, and she has made it uh, eloquently, that this is an area uh, that is, is difficult. Uh, you can either wait to be embraced by management or not. If you wait to be embraced by management, you cannot do your job in this role. Um, Kathy, uh, graceful, charming, um, and I, I don't mean to sound sexist, but mm -hmm. Kathy also has the kind of character that allows her to permit her CPA to, sh to shine. And, and I have been extraordinarily impressed, Kathy, with the manner in which you have demonstrated your willingness to stand up and be counted. Uh, internal auditors, as I've said to you, I, I've never been one, but I've counseled internal auditors in, in huge companies. And I can tell you that it's, it's, it's a thankless job. Mm -hmm. It is a job that requires that, that you, you know, follow the solution to the issue that you're pursuing. And I, I've watched you uh, uh, grow in that job. Whoever follows you in that job has got to have some qualities that are similar, though not identical to yours. That person's going to have to stand up, uh, be able to stand up and say to management, we're not going that way. We're just not going to do it that way because audit, the, the principles of internal audit, which are written, they're, they're not gospel, but they're written, um, are, are important to at least perceive, be aware of. Um, you may not be loved by management, whoever that successor is, uh, but, but, but I have to say that, Kathy, you've done a fabulous job of drawing the line between what it is that that the audit chair has expected of you and what it is that you know the organization requires. You know where those lines are and whoever succeeds you in this job is going to have to demonstrate and quickly to the, to the audit chair and me, frankly, that that, that, that person gets it. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that, John, you called it metal a, a minute ago, I, backbone. Um, Willingness to stand up and say, don't like this a lot and believe we should go at it differently. 
Uh, and whoever succeeds you, Kathy, is going to have to do that or they're not going to stay. Uh, and and I, I know you know that. Um, and I, you know, I hate you for leaving us. I really do. But, <laughs> but, but, but you got to go do what you got to go do. And I'll respect that as best I can. It's been a pleasure working with you and your staff. Uh, if Karen's on the phone, it's been a pleasure working with her. Her job is not going to change. Uh, I will lose you. Somebody will replace you. And we got to get them up to speed faster, uh, as fast as we can. But, but Kathy, thank you for growing a department which needed attention at DASD. Under John's leadership, it got that attention. And I am extraordinarily grateful to you for showing us how it ought to be done. You've done that. And I hate you for leaving us. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. That was, those were very kind words. And I've been fortunate to have a good audit committee, board, and leadership supporting this role. So I wouldn't have been successful without any one of those pieces. So thank you very much. I appreciate it. We've paid John a lot of money to get this done. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kathy, thank you and good luck to you. Thank you. All right, I will, uh, I will move on in our agenda. Uh, Karen Ellinger is going to review the internal controls uh, report. So I'm sure that's just what everybody wants to hear after that lovely resounding support for Kathy, but- We I do. Be... <laughs> we do, Karen. Karen, we do. We want for you to do your job. Don't ever stop doing that. I mean, I- No, you know, I it, won't. It's just hard. It's like being the luncheons the speaker that follows lunch at a, an event, you know, but I'll, I will muddle through. Don't, um, muddle. Don't, don't, don't muddle, charge through. I will charge through. Thank you. All right. All right. So internal control guidelines, um, as some of the members may or may not recall in April of 2018, we updated the internal control guidelines to ensure we were in compliance with the updated OSC standards the OSC standards were updated as a result of a change to the Committee of Sponsoring Organizations of the Treadway Commission or the COSO internal control framework. The internal control framework by COSO is sort of the main document for internal control groups to follow. So in 2018, as a result of the OSC standards update, we updated our standards here at DASNY, our internal control guidelines. I am not recommending any changes at this time to our internal control guidelines. However, I would like to put on the record that it's important to keep in mind that the underlying policies, procedures, guidelines, processes, control self-assessments, et cetera, are regularly being updated and remain current to adjust, address the changing environment. The guidelines are a high level document and would not be expected to change on a regular basis. Therefore, the guidelines are not being updated, but rest assured that the underlying support for those guidelines is kept current on a regular basis. Does anyone have any questions on the internal control guidelines? They were attached in your packets if you had any, uh, if, if you wanted to take a look at them. Karen, it's Al. Um, uh, here's a question for you. Um, as you, you didn't make any changes, I respect your decision, that's fine. But um, what's high on your agenda, your list of things to be addressed going forward? Are there things that you believe in those guides we're going to have to take a good hard look at sooner rather than later? I don't believe the guidelines will need to be updated anytime soon. I'm not hearing that any of the pronouncements that sort of monitor the internal control world are being updated. It's more important, I think, to remember that it's the underlying policies and procedures, um, the guidelines that we have here in place at DASNY that need to be regularly updated and reviewed. We're currently updating policies and procedures that are over three years old. That's our time frame for renewal. So we go through a process where as policies and procedures reach that three year 
time frame, we ask management to look at them. Some of them will need to be updated. Some of them will not. Um, okay. Guidelines are regularly reviewed. Our processes, uh, as you may know, we're implementing some new systems um, in project management and in finance. And as those new systems are implemented, we will take a look at the policies, procedures, et cetera, just to make sure that there are no changes needed. And if there are changes needed, we will move forward and make those changes to keep those documents current. Okay, Karen, thank you. You're very welcome. Any other questions on the guidelines? Okay, so I will move on to the internal control program. A very integral part of our internal control pr program is our control self-assessment documents. The CSA process is ongoing and business decisions are being made based on risk as to what CSAs we need to review and take a look at. Currently, we are updating procurement and job order contracting control self-assessments. And I also continue to work with management to identify additional control self-assessments for completion. I'm also working with the functional units to address any outstanding observations that have been identified in previously completed control self-assessments. There are a few that have been completed recently that we are working very hard to move forward on um, and get those observations addressed. There's nothing in those observations that I have a significant concern about not being implemented at this time. Okay. Are there any questions on the control self-assessments? Not on the self-assessment. I, I have a general question when you get to the end of your, your, your report. Okay. Just... Um, I will move on to our internal control training. Um, internal control training, I, I believe, is a very important part of our internal control program because every employee at DASNY plays a role in internal controls. Um, it's not just a management responsibility, it's a responsibility for all employees. DASNY continues to follow the New York State Office of Employee Relations uh, training program for internal controls. And I believe that their program is robust and meets the needs of our DASNY employees. In addition to that, we have the internal control steering committee meetings. They're an integral part of our internal control program bringing executive management together to discuss various internal control topics. We've had four quarterly meetings since my last report in April of 2021, and our next quarterly meeting is scheduled for June. Does anyone have any questions on training? Okay, so our internal control assessments. Our annual internal control certification is currently in process. There were no changes to the template that DASNY uses to document and certify its internal control program. I'm working with functional units to update our um, entries into that template. And we will expect to uh, submit that as part of our annual required reporting to the authority's budget office in June of 2022. I also anticipate that DASNY will be fully compliant with all assertions in that certification. Any questions on certification? None here. Okay. So the last item I'd like to share with the, the committee is the certifications of management employees. This is a program that we have had in place since 2005. It supports the president's signature on the internal control certification, the annual certification of internal controls over financial systems that is submitted to OSC. And it also supports the annual certification to the external auditor signed by the president and the CFO. We anticipate having 45 signers of those management certifications for fiscal year 21-22 with three individuals signing for the very first time. Does anyone have any questions on the management certifications? Thank you, Mr. Chair, that concludes my report. I have one general question. Okay. Um, 
Will you develop new internal controls guidelines when we take on the new cannabis administration function? We have been thinking about how that's going to fit into our current structure. So for example, if it's currently, if it fits into the current structure that we have for let's say procurement, um, then we won't need to add anything. But we are considering if it fits into our current internal control structure and our policies and procedures. And if not, we will look to um, make sure that we are addressing those issues as they come up. I meet monthly with the CFO, and I also meet monthly with uh, general counsel. So we're trying to stay on top of those things as they come up. Okay. Karen, may I ask a question? Um, of course, Al. Who, who in the legal department is your direct contact on internal control analysis matters? Nadine Fontaine. Okay. And I meet with Nadine monthly. And Nadine, are you on the phone? Yes, I am. Thank you. I'm just checking to see who are the folk whom you use on your staff. I'm, I'm, I know how busy you are, so mm -hmm. there can't be any way that you're, these are uh, uh, difficult and detailed issues. Who on your staff do you rely on uh, when the time comes to analyze Karen's work? It, it, it depends upon the issue. If it's something that's within the finance um, department, then I will you know, look to Ricardo or Dina Modio. Um, if it's something pertaining to litigation or construction, then I will look to um, Kay Edwards, who's our manager okay. of construction. So all it really, of, really depends upon this, the, the topic. I got it. All of whom I know and all of whom I, I would rely on in your place. Okay. Terrific. <laughs> Terrific. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Nadine. You're welcome. Uh, Karen, I, I didn't have any other questions. Thank you, Al. Okay. Um, now, uh, I'm going to introduce Kathy to give her internal audit overview. I want everyone to savor this. This is the last one. <laughs> no pressure. Here we go. Do we, do, do we leave here and go to Boot Hill? Yeah. Can, can, can you just... just no reason to race through this, Kathy. Just All right. take your time. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. Today, I'll be presenting to you the results of our fiscal year 22 audit plan and then proposing for your approval the fiscal year 23 and 24 internal audit plans. The internal audit team has successfully completed a variety of engagements and projects in addition to the areas on our plan over the past year. So I'm going to start by highlighting a few of those accomplishments more specifically. In support of continuing education, several team members have taken the IT General Control Certificate Program through the IIA. The goal is for the entire team to take this program to help familiarize themselves better with auditing information technology. We've also assisted with procurements and provided advisory support on several business initiatives, both formally and informally. We've coordinated audit activities with KPMG and performed continuous monitoring of compliance with the standards. Now let's take a look at the audit plan status for fiscal year 22. Our plan is designed to review a range of activities, including business processes, information technology, and construction projects. Overall, 20 engagements were completed and four are in process. There were two areas that were postponed and replaced with other engagements. That concludes this portion of my presentation. John. Um, I am going to ask uh, in a minute for a motion uh, to go into executive session. Um, uh, I am uh, asking that uh, all of the executive staff, Ruben, Paul, Nadine, Kim, uh, Portia, Steve, if he is here, uh, and um, Karen Ellinger, Jenna Flinton, Nick Pallas, uh, please stay with us. Um, uh, I, I think that there's a process for going into executive session. May I have a motion to go into executive session to discuss the financial and credit history of particular corporations, proposed pending or current litigation, and the employment histories of particular persons with matters 
uh, leading to the appointment, employment, promotion, demotion, discipline, suspension, dismissal, or removal of particular persons. Did I, I have, have that to motion? Make a motion. And Thank I'll you. second. I'll second. Joan is making it. Beryl is seconding it. Uh, the all in favor, aye. Um, uh, Sarah, what, what do we do? We have to do anything, or or can we? I am going to. Sarah left you with that one. <laughs> Recording of progress. Let's go. Thank you, Ruben. Um, uh, I'd like to note that we have just concluded an executive session, that no action was taken in executive session other than to return to public session. Um, could I have a motion to approved, uh, approve the revised audit plan? I'll move. Thank Is you, Beryl. Joan, are you still here? Can someone second? John? I saw your hand go up. You can, you're good. Uh, John is seconded. Yeah, I did. Okay. Um, uh, all in favor, aye. Anyone opposed? Uh, the motion has, or the, the, the motion has passed. Uh, could I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I'll move on that as well. Thank you, Beryl. John, can I, can I get you one more time? Thank you, John. Uh, all in favor, motion has passed. Kathy, wind at your back. <laughs> Kathy, good luck. Thank Talk you. you next time. Yes, you thank you, Kathy, for everything. And you've obviously trained the your, your people uh, right directly under you quite well. So thank yes. you. <laughs> thank good, you. good reports from both. Thank you all.